Prince William arrives in Jordan ahead of historic royal tour of Middle East. Prince William was pictured arriving in Jordan on Sunday ahead of his historic five-day tour of the Middle East. The 36-year-old was met by Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II as he landed in Amman, before the pair visited Fade Lab, which is an initiative that gives young people the training and technology they need to pursue business projects. The royal later greeted students from Al Hussein Technical University. Prince William is greeted by Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II as he arrives in Jordan. Pic.twitter.com/d3lgq9zg Kensington Palace at Kensington Royal, June 24, 2018. After Jordan, William is set to visit Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. His trip will end in Jerusalem before he heads back to the UK on June 28. Related. How Prince William earned street cred with son Prince George Fablab, a Joe initiative, works to empower young entrepreneurs in Jordan. The Duke and the Crown Prince met young Jordanians to find out more about their work. Pick.twitter.com slash 1x Ms. SCLGL, Kensington Palace, at Kensington Royal, June 24, 2018 Related Prince William reveals three-year-old Princess Charlotte's fashion obsession The Duke of Cambridge, who will also meet Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and President Reuven Rivlin during the trip, is the first member of the British royal family to do an official visit to the countries. However, Prince Charles did attend the funeral of former Israeli President Shimon Peres in 2016 as a private citizen. Hash the Regent his Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, welcomes Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, at Mark Military Airport pic.twitter.com slash km4pts2eagle, RHC, at Rugjo, June 24, 2018 A press release recently announced of William's schedule, as you know, there has been unrest in the Middle East for decades, most recently in Syria and consequently the country of Jordan is hosting over 655,000 refugees, a staggering act of generosity and humanitarianism for a country with a population of 9.5 million. Jordan has a range of programs to help refugees to integrate and to find work and shelter, and Makani, a program run by UNICEF to promote and contribute to children and young people's full development and well-being, is one of the leading organizations in this field. The Duke of Cambridge met students from the Al Hussein Technical University, which works with industry experts and businesses to deliver a STEM-based curriculum. Pic.twitter.com slash xvdufribe, Kensington Palace, at Kensington Royal, June 24, 2018 Through interacting with young people brought together by Makani from across communities in Jordan, the Duke will hear about the lives, challenges and hopes of these young people, it continued. William is also set to meet an array of Syrian refugees, who are developing skills to compete in the modern economy.